is up, my guys. Uh, back with another vlog today. Taking a bunch of packages to the post office. Got a bunch of orders to ship out, so thank you guys for ordering. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm shipping out, you can go check my eBay link down below. Um, but yeah, didn't post a video yesterday because it was kind of like my day off, you can say. Uh, but dropping these packages off and I'll bring you whatever comes up today. So, yeah. We are currently in Wilco right now. We need to pick up a, what are we picking up? Horseshoe. A penny. Say hi, penny. What are you doing? All right, okay, okay. <laughs> Just got my front bra put on. This came all the way from Turkey, I believe. Uh, but yeah, kind of going from the old school look. And I found a brow bra on eBay for only 60 bucks. So I couldn't help myself. I think it looks pretty cool. Gives the whole front end like a black look. I'll probably end up repainting the front bumper to even black. Er. But yeah. Quick and easy and so change up the look a little bit. If you guys are wondering, the company that actually sent it, Cobra Auto Accessories. It even came with this cool little, um, I don't know, canvas bag. Kind of cool. Um, where did this come from? Turkey. Angana, Sangana, Turkey. Yeah, pretty sweet. So I'm on the computer right now designing what I think is going to be a pretty cool um, two-in-one bracket or three-in-one kind of. This goes to your axle. So it has a three-inch diameter axle. And why I say it's three-in-one is you got your upper and lower link tabs. Okay. And then it's going to be bent. So this is going to be the, the back section. And on the back section is uh, two notches, one, two. As you can see, these are notched also. And these are gonna be the shock brackets. So, um, these are some cut reliefs to show me where to bend so I know it's the same every time. Hopefully this works first test run, but I'll show you quick um, simulation. How it's gonna cut. Make sure we get all those inner holes done first and then cut the outside. Boom. Let's go. Today, I had an order for a front license plate bed mount. Or, just vice versa, my bad. Boom, boom, like that. Uh, little piece of wall art for a customer. Getting some clear coat drying on it right now. Uh, also, got the piece I was telling you guys about all welded up. The three in one, two in one, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, need a tweak, just some adjustments for the bend, but this actually will work. 
Um, as you can see, this part goes around your axle. Okay, upper link bar, lower link bar. Exhaust, I mean exhaust, what am I saying? Um, shock, 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 shock. Although, a coilover might work on that. I'm not sure how big coilovers are. But, I'll show you on my dad's axle here. There's not much room to really play with it. But, slides on the axle like so. You have your shock come straight up, or lean back a little bit, what have you. You can lean it forward too a little bit if you wanted to. But yeah, it's three inch axle. I think I'm gonna put these on eBay. I like how they turned out. But yeah, get this packed up. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> get this packed up and another license plate racket inside. Get this posted. Yeah, anything else you guys think of? For making for yourself or anything else uh, just leave me a comment and if it seems like a good idea I'll probably make it but I think that's gonna wrap up today's vlog I think of anything else I'll put it in here but other than that thank you guys for watching as always please leave me a comment give me a like if you like this video or the series uh, subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, keep on trucking. Peace.